waiting in another no-show from a student who's going to show up any minute because this is the third time they've been late today and I've been starting a video. <laughs> I don't anticipate getting to the end of this and you even seeing it, but if you do, yay! Um, all right, so until my student arrives, let me go ahead and do another video. Oh, two days back to back, imagine that. Um, and the only reason I decided to go ahead and do it during this period of time and try to do another one is because I should really pull up and give credit where credit's due. Okay, well let's backtrack a little bit. So um, I went off of HCG so that it wasn't in my bloodstream um, because I was going to the doctor and getting blood work done and, and medical stuff, yada, 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 and um, I wanted to be clear. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need to go back in the next month or so, so I'm thinking about spending a month of not doing HCG. Um, so until I get back on it, searching for things to do, I decided to do the Noom because it is all over YouTube, it's all over Facebook, I'm seeing commercials on TV, it seems like it's the greatest thing since the sliced bread. They obviously poured a ton of money into advertising. <laughs> A ton of money into advertising and um, I thought well okay so go back and watch the other videos about Noom if you haven't already about like you know kind of getting started as you can tell to give you a brief synopsis I was very excited at the beginning of it waned off pretty quickly they do give you f two weeks of a free trial before they charge your credit card you do have to give them a credit card up front um, and then I went ahead and canceled it so the only thing I found at the end of the two weeks to still be beneficial to me was the food tracker, shockingly. Um, so I went back to Lose It. So I was using the Lose It app. This is an app that's a food tracker app um, that works just like the rest of them. You know, you can scan the food items. There's foods already in there, blah, 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 blah. It works just basically like every other one. Um, and it was free and what I like about Lose It actually is is the fact that I have used it on and off more off than on but I have used it for I don't know five years so when I go in there and I log back in again it I can go back and click on the thing to see five years ago like where my weight was and like when I was using using it and losing a lot where it was in fact the first time I did HCG I actually also logged it on to my uh, Lose It app just to have the, um, which shows me that whew, the first time I did HCG and the weight I lost would put me 30 pounds less than what I am right now. Oh, that's dreadful. I really have to lose between 10 and 20 pounds now. Okay. Wish I could be doing HCG. All right. So. Uh, so I started doing that, and then in um, yesterday I was saying how I was doing that, and let me see if I can look up here in my, uh, Tea Time Drinker. Thank you very much, Tea Time Drinker, for um, commenting on my link that you use my fitness pal now my fitness pal has been around it's not like it's a brand new thing I've never heard of before I've heard of it and I think I people use them with their Fitbits I never had a Fitbit so I didn't use it and I had been using lose it since I think before Fitbits even were around so I feel like I'm gonna sneeze I apologize <coughs> sorry I'm constantly like rubbing my eyes and my nose when I'm in class here because I have an air purifier, I have an air conditioner, and I have an overhead fan, and then I also have windows. So I, I have a lot of different cross breezes or air that's circulating in here at all times, and for whatever reason, the cat hair and dust or whatever always seems to get me when I'm teaching class. All right, so um, tea time. We're going to call her Tea Time. Tea Time told me that she was using my fitness pal. What she pointed out to me is the fact that she can track her macros on there. Now, um, I think I kind of knew this information a while ago, as I recall, because my daughter uses uh, this app, the one that lives out in California, and she tracks everything. And she was talking about tracking her macros on it and that too. And I was just like, mm, yeah, I'm just, I'm not interested in, in tracking macros. But 
now I think I am. I think I'm going to spend a little bit more time in this month while I can't do HCG, but I need to lose weight to pay more attention to what my macros are in addition to calories. So um, I double checked again on Lose It, and sure enough, that's the premium version to track excuse me, to track your macros. You can't track your macros on it without paying for the upgraded premium version. So I downloaded my fitness pal. Yep, I did. I downloaded that yesterday. And I will tell you that the one thing I liked about the Noom app that I don't like about my fitness pal and um, I don't like about my fitness pal and, and lose it app is the fact that when you log your exercise, it deducts it from the calories, so it allows you to eat more calories that day. I don't want to do that. So I'm just not logging my exercise anymore. I'm not going to mark it down. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good about it anyway. I really don't need, like I, I need the app to keep me accountable on what I'm eating, but I don't need the app to keep me accountable to get on the treadmill every day. I know every day. It's just part of my routine now. It's something I do. And then I do planks afterwards. One minute with my arms straight, one minute on my um, elbows. Um, and usually after that I do some crunches. Somehow I don't always remember. I think it's because I have the television on while I'm doing them. <laughs> And so I'm counting, and so sometimes I'm just like interested in what the television is going to say again because I'm counting to 60 in my head, so I'm not always hearing com exactly what's going on. So I think I pay attention and then forget to roll over onto my back and do some crunches. I try to do 60 crunches um, as well. Um, I don't feel like I'm seeing a whole lot of difference from that. I feel like I probably... Eh, I probably really need to get better form on my planks, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm getting my body completely planked. I feel like I'm a little bit, my butt's probably up in the air too much. When I try to sink it, I think I end up doing like this. <laughs> so to get completely level, it's just hard without seeing a mirror to know exactly if you're doing it the way you should be. But I think I need to up my game a little bit more and getting better form, which is going to work my muscles a little bit more, and then I'll and I'll feel it. Uh, more than I do. I mean, it's not like I don't feel it while I'm doing it, but afterwards I don't feel anything. I don't know. It seemed like maybe I just don't push myself in my older age like I did when I was younger. It seemed like whenever I did exercises when I was younger, the next day I'd be sore. And yet I feel like I kind of, like, I don't know, two minutes a day of planks is a lot of planking. Planking's not easy. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not feeling it. I did like the first couple days I did it, but I'm not anymore, so I need to I need to work something up. Anyway, I came here today just to say that I'm doing my fitness pal because it does track for free all of your macros. And um, I like how it says as I'm logging my food, another cool thing I found on it that was not on the Lose It app, basically it may be in the premium version, um, but not in the free version, is that as I'm logging food, at one point during the day it said okay you've reached your maximum on protein so um, I had to stop there now I do need and I think you can also do this in the free version because I was looking at some YouTube videos too about using it because it, it, it's just set up a little bit different from lose it so I'm so familiar with lose it that I wasn't able to do some stuff that I knew that it could do um, so I quickly went to YouTube and looked some stuff up. And I believe on the free version, you can also change what you want your target carbohydrate, protein, and um, fats to be. Because I noticed at the end of the day, I feel like lately I've been pretty carb heavy in what I've been eating. And when I look at my fitness tracker at the end of the day, I hit my protein pretty early on. And um, I still have a lot of carbohydrates that I can eat. And that doesn't seem right. I feel like what I should be doing is just the opposite, is cutting back on the amount of carbohydrates I'm eating and increasing my protein. So if anybody has the recommended kind of, I don't want to say keto, because keto is going to say almost no carbs, um, but like really low carb version of how you do your macros um, or a suggested site maybe to go to 
that kind of asks you questions to determine how you should figure out what percentage of macros um, you should have, I'd, I'd appreciate that because I am definitely eating too many carbs and at the end of the day for it to say that I've maxed out on uh, fats and, and proteins, definitely proteins early on and then just recently like oh I got like the right amount of fats but I could have had more carbs. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that I'm gonna, the, my weight's going to go the opposite direction if I continue to eat that many carbohydrates. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to play around with it. If anyone has suggestions, put them down below of of what percentages they have found to be successful for them. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can go in there and just change the numbers, and as long as they equivalent 100, you can make it be whatever you want it to be. So I'm excited about that. I think I might. Um, text my daughter today too and ask her what she's doing um, for hers because she's pretty successful but she's also very um, um, diligent and um, faithful in her uh, uh, dieting what helps her is that she's very much a numbers girl and loves to track things. She loves organization. She likes math. She likes, you know, organize something and put it all in place. That makes her happy. Like linear place, organizational, everything has its spot kind of person. Um, she's the exact same way and at math kind of falls right into that. So she's a math person. Um, and she's in analytics for television research out in California. That's really her mojo. She's very creative as well, so she's still in television, which she appreciates, but she can do the analytics side of ratings and that kind of stuff. So for her, tracking is like awesome. So she's really good about it because she just gets stoked to see what her numbers are and to figure it all out and to only eat so much and to blah, 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 blah. I don't like any of that really. That's why I didn't really care about the macros because I don't really care that much. But because I need to do something, I'm going to make myself care and start paying a little bit more attention to those macros. Okay, that was a bunch of rambling um, that basically just said I'm now doing my fitness pal. <laughs> So I might look into, uh, let me know if the Apple Watch connects with um, my fitness pal. I think it does. I don't think you have to use, um, but I might be wrong. You might have to just get a Fitbit. Um, but I'm interested in that because I was debating getting an Apple Watch just to have access to it at all times. I almost always have my phone on me. The only time I don't is when I'm at a water park or an and, um, amusement park because you can't take phones on roller coasters anymore. Um, but I don't know if it's worth it for that. But I just think the Apple Watches also look a little bit better than the Fitbits do. So I don't know. I'll start looking into it because I would be interested in how many steps I am doing in a day. And I, you know, holding my phone is just not a good way to do that for me. All right. So any any questions I had, feel free to put the answers down below. I've already forgotten what I've asked. <laughs> but um, I'll be in touch in a few days. There's no need for me to get back, hop back on here again tomorrow. Um, but we have a couple weeks of pretty warm weather ahead of us in the greater Cleveland area. So it's going to be a hot one for the next couple of weeks. 90s again. It was 90s for like two weeks you know, upper 80s, 90s, and then we had this beautiful weekend in the 70s, and now, and I didn't even get outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been going outside in the 90s and spending like an hour of like washing rocks. That's a whole separate thing. We're moving rocks. My husband's digging up and doing things in the back of the yard, and we're moving the rocks to the front of the yard because we're getting rid of a bunch of mulch and turning it into rock beds because maintenance is much lower, and it just has a cleaner look. Anyway, so I've been doing a lot of washing rocks and buckets for my husband before he takes him out to the front of the yard. And I do like an hour a day just to get a little bit of sun, to get outside, to kind of feel like I'm not stuck in the house. And um, and uh, sometimes I like to just lay down on the deck and keep my head in the shade and just get a little bit of sun that way and have my laptop and watch some stuff. But you can't do it when it's in the 90s because the deck already feels like it's 10 degrees warmer. It's great if it's in the 50s because you can lay out on the deck and still be nice and warm because there's uh, just magically, even if it's not a windy day, something about the way the deck works, it's always warmer. So on these warm days, can't do it. 
and this gorgeous weekend I could have like enjoyed my time just laying out and watching some stuff on YouTube some podcasts and that and catch up on things but no didn't do it worked on my scrapbooking retreats and did that kind of stuff instead caught up on some sleep I've been lacking on sleep all right I'm rambling um so we'll see what happens this week back to the 90s I'm going to an amusement park on Wednesday it looks like they've done I've been I've been monitoring it online what they're doing for precautions and the protocols and all that and everything looks pretty good in terms of constantly washing your hands of course having to wear face masks all the time um, but uh, we'll see we'll see I don't know how long it's gonna last to wear a face mask in 90 degree weather with humidity but We'll give it a try. I, I had the season passes anyway that I bought last year, so we'll get in a time or two. Um, kind of stay close to home for a couple weeks afterwards just to play it safe. And um, and yeah, and then, and then take it from there. I don't know. It's just kind of getting to the point of I just can't see in the house anymore. I just can't. So I I after looking at all the protocols that are in place and everything they're doing, it is so much safer to spend time in this amusement park than it is to go to the local grocery store. I don't have to touch anything in the amusement park with the exception of the actual bars on the ride which they're disinfecting between each time and they have the hand sanitizer there right after you get off and then they have hand washing stations and you know whereas at the grocery store everyone's touching everything there so I just feel like it's really safer to go someplace where I don't have to touch the queue lines I won't touch them when I'm walking through things, they got rid of turnstiles. Everything's a payless system if you're going to buy food, which I won't. I'll bring my own. We'll go back to the car and eat in the car from our cooler of food. Um, but um, yeah, they have it set up so that in lines you're six feet away from everybody else while you're going through the queues. So I um, I don't know. I don't know. I just like I couldn't justify continuing to sh go shopping, but not do that when when I look at everyone touching everything at the grocery store and know that nothing's getting disinfected all day long until the end of the day, and lots of people are in there, and and people are all touching things. We're all touching the same things. God, I was at the store the other day and. Um, I had to sign something with my finger on the pad and I was like really do you have hand sanitizer here like I had to go and like dig out my own hand sanitizer first do my hands sign it do my hands again <laughs> like I thought we were trying to get rid of this and not touching the pens to sign you know I mean those are still there like that pen that everyone's touching I anyway anyway I guess I'm justifying this so that I don't get a lot of feedback in the comments below. If you think I shouldn't go to the amusement park, I appreciate you. You don't have to tell me. I know there are people who aren't going to agree with me, and they're going to say, no, you shouldn't do it. You need to stay in. But I, I, I need to get out. And that's one of my greatest joys in life is spending time at the amusement park. It's just been in my blood since I was a kid, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll get a lot of steps in that day. A lot of walking around and a lot of standing. So, um, that's what you do the majority of the time. The amount of time you're actually on a ride versus the number of times you're just standing in lines and walking all over. The miles of walking you do in an amusement park. Um, it's very skewed. Um, all right. Anything else? <laughs> I can't believe my kid's not here. Oh, but the class is almost over, so I'm going to go. All right. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Take care. Oh, my hair is really puffing out today, isn't it? Whew. Frizzy, frizzy. All right, talk to you later. Bye.